What is up guys, it's Bouncing, and today I've got something really special for you guys. It is a brand new bow, 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 Razer Anza controller. I've been using this controller for a few months now, and I always get questions about it. And I've had this sitting around my room for a while now, because I accidentally, well not accidentally, but I bought two, and I just haven't opened this one up yet, because I got a warranty and I haven't had a choice to, but... I figured I'd show you guys what the controller looks like and what's different about it from the regular Xbox controller and try and answer some of the questions that I get repeatedly. So let me try and open this thing up. This might be a little hard to do with just one freaking hand. And I'm a lefty, so this ain't gonna be good. Alright, there we go. There's like a little piece of tape there. And this. I might have to put this camera down. Alright, never mind. There we go. Alright, so basically that thing just opens like that. I've opened like 20 of these things. The number one thing about Razer Anzas are that they break very easily. I would never, ever buy this controller without a warranty, ever again. Because I've had, I've bought one for maybe $45 on eBay or something like that, and it broke within a week, and I was pretty pissed off. But it's not because I break them, it's just because they break, <laughs> the buttons stop working, or it's just a whole bunch of mess, but, alright, so let me take this thing out. So that's pretty much how the controller sits in the packaging, uh, it comes with like a little pamphlet in here, I never read any of this stuff, you get stickers and all that stupid stuff that nobody really cares about. This is a fail because I can't open this stupid envelope. Oh, that's why. Whatever, screw it, fuck the envelope. Okay, it's got stickers, they're not even that cool looking, it looks like, stickers look like that thing right there, it's like a tribal snake or something, I don't know. know. Alright, so now you got the controller, uh, push this through the back, I'm trying to keep, keep this steady for you guys. Oh, alright, fuck out of here. Alright, so here's the controller first things that I like about this controller that make it different are it has these little, if you can see that, rotating knobs that you can actually, let me see if I can click them, so you can hear that click, you can actually make the joysticks tighter, or if you turn them to that way, it makes them really loose. So that's a really cool adjustment, because sometimes when you're playing games you throw shots, especially like me when I play Gears of War, sometimes I play retarded, so... I like that, I always change that around, it helps with sensitivity. The buttons are a lot closer to the controller than the normal Xbox controller, so they're a little bit hard to get used to at first, you can barely feel them, but once you do, they are so much better, because when you hear when I press it, it actually makes a clicking sound, and I've never had a problem with them sticking before, which always happens with the freaking Xbox 360 Microsoft controller, they suck. So that's cool. Whenever you feel like you're actually pressing the button, which is a lot better than just pressing a, like a button that doesn't have any response. The D-pad's the same way. It's got, like you can hit each one individually. It's not connected like the normal Xbox one is. And it has the same thing with the bounce back button. Um, let's see. The triggers are really different. They stick up. Kind of like and I don't even know what that is, <laughs> what kind of angle that would be, but yeah, it sticks up, but it has the same thing with the click, and it pounces, that's a really fast response, like, it's got a nice spring in there, I like that a lot, I can shoot pretty fast, but the thing that everybody always buys this controller about, and the reason I bought this controller, is that it has the remappable RMFB, LMFB, left mappable, from bumper I guess it stands for, I don't know. And what that basically does is you hold this button down in the back for I can't even see through the camera. This would be right, hold this one down for left and you press whichever button you want to make that front bumper. Which can help a lot in games like Gears of War that I play with separating different buttons and you don't have to take your thumb off of the analog stick to press any of these buttons ever. Even though I do sometimes, just out of habit, but you don't have to, which is which is a cool thing. And it's wired, which um 
I like better personally because I hate batteries. Your controller dies and then you have to go get new ones and you have to spend money and rechargeable batteries suck. They only last for like a few months and then they let, they have to recharge them every hour and it's just freaking annoying. And you end up playing wired anyway with the plug and play. So I'd rather just go with wired. The controller is lighter. Um, it has a good grip on it. It has like this little, that same tribal snake thing going on. So that that's cool too. I like the grip. It's just it's a lot more time I think put into this controller than the standard one. Except the bad thing is it breaks. Um, what else? I think they run about fifty dollars. They have them at BestBuy.com, or you get them at the stores. I said I guess if there's Best Buys around you. And my warranty was eight bucks for two years, so that's not that bad. So you don't have to worry about buying any controllers within two years. You just keep returning them. I've already returned one twice since I got it in a month, so I go through them pretty quick. And that's why I said I would never recommend anyone buying it without a warranty. So. It's pretty much my unboxing and review, and hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.